are hopeful that the brotherly spirit that is being portrayed by Ugandans sitting around the table will, will result in a full resolution of this issue. These groups with whom we have already reached some understanding are in Uganda. They have put down their arms and they are cooperating fully and participating fully in the process of bringing about lasting peace in our country. The head of state and the chairman of the military council, General Tito Kelo, has time and time again stated that all Ugandans are welcome back home. If we have any problems or any differences that need to be discussed, let's get home, discuss them in a family atmosphere, and If you do not sign the agreement, will it be all out war? Well, of course the war is on. This war, the war is going on, so if the enemy does not sign the war with war, I think it is concluded by military union. You see, all these brothers, all these things that the brothers of Japan, mainly on intentions and partly on mechanisms provided for in the agreement. Uh, if the intentions are good and the principles of the peace agreement are good, and the mechanisms are good, then the, the, the peace uh, treaty can hold. Can you tell us um, um, why, if you, if you why, why General Akello left so early? What is the Are you okay? Tonight? You'll find out tomorrow. Eh? You want to ask me about Masaka, he can help you. But not about the talk. That's, that's uh, the chairman's province. <laughs> yes. Not even when they went to meet No.
I have repeatedly stated in the past that carnage and insecurity which have left Uganda for close to 20 years have to be arrested by conscious human efforts. I'd like to announce to the world that the signing of this peace agreement here today is a victory for the people of Uganda as a whole. I want the world to understand this. The people of Uganda, the population, did not start violence. I was not a soldier, I was an intellectual. Why did I become a soldier? I became a soldier to defend myself and my people against state-inspired violence. People were killed in 1964. Our, our people were killed in 1966. Our people were killed in 1969. Amin killed our people from 1971 to 1979. Milton Obote killed our people from 1981 to 1985, and the military council has been killing our people even recently.